Here we go with another one of my 2017 Peterbilt 389s. Obviously this one's a flat top. Uh, you see all that frame behind the fuel tank there. This one is a 300 inch wheelbase. I've built a couple other of these, a uh, couple others. If you've watched my other videos, the cream one, the green one, um, and I've had one other. They, these don't sit around very long. They, they sell very quickly. This one is black effect. It's uh, it's black with just a little bit of flake to it. Um, probably hard to catch on my iPhone, but just a little bit of flake. Great looking color. Um, doesn't get much more classic than that. It's my normal my normal package. 550 horsepower. 1850 torque. 336 rears. This truck's sitting on 10 <clears throat> low pro 24.5 Bridgestones. This particular truck is low, low air leaf. Sits just a tick lower than, than regular low air leaf. Changed, changed a couple things on this one versus my last one, uh, just to get some variety. Um, no back window. And uh, with, with no steps and no toolboxes, no deck plates, keep that clean. Uh, whoever buys this truck's probably gonna have a plan for all that anyway, whether it's frame covers um, or, or deck plates or just none. So, Hodge built, deep drop 30 inch quarter fenders. That's uh, uh, the nicest quarter fender we can get from the factory. I do a lot of uh, uh, half and full fender installations if that's something you need, uh, I can get ev get everything you can. Uh, we've got a real good relationship with with four states in Joppa, Missouri, Chrome Shop Mafia. Uh, anything they provide, I can I can provide you with for upfit. Three axle disc brakes. I say this over and over. I can't stress. Uh, how great they are as far as stopping power, pad and rotor life longevity. Um, the the uptime you'll have versus shoes and drums is is phenomenal. Plus, I think it's going to give it. It's going to really help it somewhere down the road on resale. Uh, the, the the advantages are, are are pretty endless. Polished tanks, four polished straps. Locking caps. You can see up there, it's, uh, I'm still putting the antenna on the back of the sleeper. I still think that's the hot ticket. Dual seven ways, depending on, on what you're pulling, what you're doing. Uh, chrome stand. Polished def tank cover. Polished sleeper vents. Platinum interior. We'll look at that again here in a minute. Plenty of storage and there's the uh, subwoofer that has the built-in amplifier, all that stuff for the, for the stereo. Lots of storage. Those two black panels there are the panels we remove when we put the uh, light kit on um, the back of the, right behind the hood, of the back of the front fender. And you see those struts, uh, heavy duty, lift, lifting the bed up on the inside, super easy. Polished boxes on both sides. And the factory did, for the factory, they did a pretty darn good job. Um, I give those guys a hard time because they usually don't don't do a very good job. But on this truck, for them, they did pretty good. It could still be um, it could still be better. I know a lot of a lot of those guys. Um, you guys that are in the know, 
know who I'm talking about as far as the guys that do the good polished work. Polished air tanks, Phoenix LED light kit. HID headlights, 20 inch blind mount box squared front bumper. Um, it's kind of a staple on my flat tops, it's what I put on there. Uh, a lot of times, depending on the application of where this truck's gonna end up, I can put a stock style bumper, a shorter bumper. Uh, if there's anything on this truck that, that won't work for you or you don't like, uh, let me know. Uh, changing that stuff's out is is not a big deal. Polished around. Again, the factory did a did a pretty gar darn good job on this one. You can see the uh, 12 inch blind mount drop visor, and in, in addition to the five factory bullet roof lights, I put um, two more. Eight inch or seven, sorry, seven inch exhaust, top to bottom, with the chrome elbows. Polished power heated mirrors. There's the radio antenna on that mirror. You see the, the black black piece on on the driver's mirror arm that's for the for the satellite heated fuel filter all of the fuel lines on this truck arctic wrapped um, to help with uh, if you guys end up in those northern climates where it gets well below zero uh, that can that can be the difference between a service call or not this is the uh, blowback lever so the wind doesn't kick the hood back you have to flip that to get the hood to go down there's the front axle obviously disc brakes I didn't do air ride on this front axle, uh, and I've got a cream with a cream frame that is the same setup as this that I didn't do the air ride front axle. Just uh, some guys like it, some guys don't. These next two, I'm, I'm not doing the air ride front axle, the next two I will. jump inside here Sears Atlas 80 series seats black leather um, this truck has the has the tan interior package if you wanted the tan seats I've got the tan seats in stock all we got to do is swap them out not that big a deal Without the uh, without the rear window, that's the panel you get, which I think's pretty good looking. Um, kick the key on. It's early in the morning. It's already gross. 
very gross. I'll show you what that looks like at start up. Stereo, kind of a little insight as to how the stereo works. Platinum interior. It's got the platinum moniker there. This truck has black carpet front to back. Looks good with the black seats with the tan interior. Since I didn't put the air ride front axle on it, I did put the workstation in here for the uh, your hanging files. Just this business center, great place to put your laptop, do your paperwork. Um, it's a neat, neat feature. Control panel for the sleeper, it's got Heat air, alarm clock, PowerPoint, cab light. Good view there where the action happens. Leather steering wheel, tilt and telescope. 23 gauges total when you add the six virtual. And they all have the bright bezel. These spare switches, they're already, they're already wired in, they're ready to go. This auxiliary switch, that's, that's for all your air cleaner, chicken lights. This doesn't, this switch doesn't change fuel tanks, but it shows you the fuel level in each tank. Uh, just kind of a different way to, to look at that. There's all your crews and your J. That knob controls that screen. It's got another gauge in it and trip information. Handful of stuff there. Uh, with this platinum interior, put the factory Cobra CB in there. Uh, I, I really like the way the factory surround looks and it's pennies compared to what it cost to buy those pieces over the counter. Um, there's your microphone, it's kind of tough to see. Microphone for your hands-free. And there's your CB speaker there. Of course, power windows, locks, power mirrors. All the jazz. Eighteen speed. My phone number should be at the bottom of this page. Um, uh, subscribe to this page to to keep up with new inventory as I get it. Um, I got a Facebook page, Peter Bill Steve. Go check that out. I'm about 10, 12 miles from an airport. If you if you want to fly in and check something out, I take trades. I have financing been doing this over 15 years uh, if you want to talk about some options if you'd like to see a build sheet on this or any of my other trucks just contact me I'm more than happy to get you that stuff uh, we're talking about a big purchase uh, there, there's there's a lot to talk about this is not like running in your Ford or Chevy dealer and, and, and buying a pickup this is a little more involved so if there's anything I can help you with uh, I'd sure be glad to do it 918-808-5638 Call me anytime. Be glad to talk to it with you. Shoot me a text. I'm not sure like the opportunity to sell you your next truck. I appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.